Developments tonight in the rape case against Indianapolis Colts linebacker Josh McNary. His attorney believes the victim in the case has falsely accused at least one other person of rape. RTV6's Derek Thomas has that story. Linebacker Josh McNary's attorney says he will be employing the crying wolf defense. He says the victim has falsely accused someone of rape before. The 26-year-old McNary's liberty and high-priced short-lived career is at stake. The alleged rape occurred in his downtown apartment on December 1st. According to defense attorney Ed Schrager, his office received an anonymous letter from someone who used the victim's name, which has not been revealed publicly, and said the victim was fired from Bakersfield Restaurant located on Massachusetts Avenue for falsely accusing someone of rape. The owners of the restaurant have refused to release the victim's employment records. The defense wants to subpoena those records, and the prosecutor moved to quash that subpoena. The judge took that matter under advisement. Has she made false allegations before, and has she been fired from a job because of that? I can't speak to that. Do you believe that this, she has made credible allegations against your client? That's for a jury to decide. We strongly deny the allegations, and we look forward to Mr. McNary's day in court. This development is not necessarily a boon for McNary's defense. The victim is protected by rape shield laws. They're going to have to have some witnesses that will testify to that. How did the employer determine that the allegations were false? Uh, did they interview people? Are there actual uh, recordings of uh, interviews with employees and other people at the company to substantiate the claim that her prior accusation was false? It's a very steep hill for the defense to climb. No trial date has been set, but both sides agree a June date is likely. Derek Thomas. RTV6. McNary's defense team wants the judge to order prosecutors to give them all social media posts the victim may have made about the encounter. McNary is free on $25,000 bond and is on GPS monitoring while on bond. They also want GPS monitoring removed, and the judge will consider both motions.